All right, so questions like this need to be done on a cast diagram. But what I want you to see first is that there are two angles. There's a theta and a beta. This means we are going to use two different cast diagrams. So I'm going to put a cast diagram here, and we'll call that our theta cast diagram. And then over here, and this can be our beta cast diagram. So let's look at the first piece of information. If we had to rearrange everything, we'd get that 5 sin theta is equal to 4 and sin theta is then 4 over 5. So this means sin is positive. That could be here or here. Then they say that the angle theta must be greater than 90. So that could be here, here, or here. So then we choose quadrant number 2 because it satisfies both conditions. And so we draw a little triangle over there, always with a vertical line. Now, they say sin theta is 4 over 5. From Sokotoa, you might use a different method. Sin is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that means this will be 4 and this will be 5. We then use Pythagoras to find that this is 3. However, it's on the negative x-axis, and so we would say negative 3 instead. That triangle is now complete, and so we can move over to the beta triangle. The beta triangle says that tan is a positive number. So that could be here or here. Then they say that the angle must be less than 90, so that can only be there. And so that's where we can construct our triangle, like this. Now we can fill everything in. Tan is opposite over adjacent, so the opposite would be 3, the adjacent would be 4. Doing Pythagoras, we should end up with a 5. Now, here's where I see a lot of students make mistakes. They look at this and they think that, oh, this means cos theta minus cos beta. And so then they go look for cos theta and cos beta. Instead, what you want to do is use your formula sheet. Okay, so here's what we have on our formula sheet. Now, of course, we don't have alpha and beta, or we've got theta and beta, so we can change this to theta. That means this will change to theta, and that means this one will change to theta. Now, we can say that cos theta minus beta should be cos theta cos beta plus sin theta sin beta. And then what you do is you just go find those values on the different triangles. So for example, cos theta, you'll go to the theta triangle and cos would be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is negative 3 over 5. Then cos beta, you go to the beta triangle and you use cos this, so that will be 4 over 5, like that. Then you say plus, and then at sin theta, which would be 4 over 5 from the theta triangle, and then sin beta, we go to the beta triangle, and there will be 3 over 5. What I would then do to pretend like we're not using a calculator is I would use this part separately. So that's minus 12 over 25. And then this part is 12 over 25. And then this actually ends up being 0.